Father, we thank you in Jesus' name that your anointing is here right now to break yokes, to break chains. We thank you, Lord, that your word says the anointing breaks the yoke. The anointing destroys the yoke, the heavy bonds. We declare and release right now the anointing upon every person under the sound of my voice. I declare that the anointing is touching your life. The anointing is touching your body. The anointing is touching your mind, your emotions. The anointing is touching your heart in Jesus' name. And we declare every yoke of the enemy, every heavy burden of the enemy, every chain of bondage, it's broken right now in Jesus' name. All addictions are broken by the anointing of the Spirit of the living God in Jesus' name. I declare every mind is free today to hear and to receive the Word of God that is able to save our souls. We thank you, Lord. I declare that every heart is free right now from bitterness in Jesus' name, from the lies of the enemy, from confusion, from despair, from, from depression in Jesus' name. You're broken. And I declare and address every spirit of darkness right now I break your power. I forbid your activities in the lives of those under the sound of my voice right now. In Jesus' name, I declare that you will know the truth and the truth will set you free today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I, I declare and speak to every soul tie that is not from the Holy Spirit. It is severed by the anointing of God right now. In Jesus' name, I declare your soul is free from everything that is improper and that is not of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. If you believe and receive that, say, yes, I do. Hallelujah. Wow. What a powerful day in the presence of the Lord. The anointing was there from get-go, from, from prayer onward. Isn't that wonderful? That means He wants to do a work in us. He doesn't just come so we can feel goosebumps. But he wants to do a work in us. Isn't that wonderful? And when he does a work in you, he wants you to pour it back out on other people this week. Amen. God is also very practical. He says, whatever you've received, freely give it. If you've received it for free, come on, then give it for free. Isn't that wonderful? You know, there's so much power in the Holy Spirit. So much life. I can tell when a person is living a life in the spirit. They shine to me. I can tell. Even if I don't know them, they may be in the grocery store. You can recognize a person who's living in the spirit of God. Their face is fresh. It doesn't look like life sucked them dry and spat them back out. Come on. But they look like they have a constant surge of life from the Almighty One. And that's for every one of us. Every one of us should have something in us where other people go, what is it about you? What is that about you? When I'm around you, I feel different. Amen. That's our inheritance. It's our inheritance to be carriers of the Holy Spirit. And God says that whatever we do, we need to do it in Him. Without him, we can do nothing. Jesus says, I'm the vine, you're the branches. Without me, you can't do nothing at all. Amen. And so I want to encourage you that everything in the life of the Spirit of God gives victory. Come on, gives joy, gives breakthrough. Hallelujah. Gives increase, prospering every area of our lives. It gives that yoke-destroying power. It gives authority. It gives vision. Vision, great joy. I already said that, I think. I'm just going to keep saying that. But a life in the Spirit is a life of joy, not heaviness and depression. That's, some, uh, uh, that's another life. That's that fake life. But your real life has joy, unspeakable and full of glory. It has victory. I've noticed uh, patterns. My husband and I love to study patterns because... From patterns, you can learn a lot, you can avoid a lot, and you can do a lot of things that will help. 
the book of Proverbs, I think it's just the book of patterns of wisdom. I've, I've seen people do this and this is the result. I've seen people myself make powerful decisions under the conviction of the Holy Spirit when they're in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. All of us have done this ourselves. And then we've seen other people do it. And then when they leave that place of being in the spirit, they also let go of the decision that was made in the spirit. Because something you do in the spirit can only be continued in the spirit. It can't be continued by the strength of your character or the strength of your mind power, your, your will power. No, not by might, not by power, by my spirit, says the Lord. We must be people who live in the spirit every single day. How do I do that? There's a few practical ways, you know. The life of the spirit is not a life of just doing what we feel. I hear Christians say that all the time. I feel this, I feel that. Our feelings, like I always say, change based upon chocolate. Some of you will suddenly become very negative. I become very positive myself on chocolate. There's uh, movies. You can change your state of mind and your emotions by watching a comedy or a drama. I don't watch dramas because I don't like to alter my state to that level. But, but uh, feelings change all the time. But a life of the spirit is not about feelings. It's a relationship. And so the number one uh, way to get in the spirit and stay in the spirit is to give him your firsts. That's a big one. Give him the first words that you say in the morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit. We've learned that from our brother Benny Hinn. Amen. Good morning, Holy Spirit. I love you. I am only your vessel today. What would you like to do today? Who do you want me to minister to? What do you want me to say? And spend time with him first. If we can do nothing without him, why would we start without him? Amen. So start with him first. And then, and the second thing, I have a few points, just four. Uh, obey his instructions right away. My husband and I, we always teach our children, it's not obedience if it's later on. Obedience is right away. Amen. Not repeated instruction, but just one instruction and then do it right away. So if you spend time with the Lord and you commune with him, then, then he's going to give you an instruction. The third is use your gifts and talents. Use everything he has given you. He's given every one of us gifts and talents and he wants them to grow by reason of use. So every day, not just on Sunday, not just on Wednesday, not just when you're in your role, come on, but every day, use your gifts. But before you leave that place with the Lord in the morning, say, Lord, I'm going to use the gifts you've given me. I'm going to use the opportunities you've given me. I'm going to use the open doors. I'm going to give, use the favor and I'm going to use the spiritual graces, the spiritual gifts you have given me today. And be aware, be aware. Amen. And then stay in the word of God. You can go for several days. Some people do 40 days. I've done quite a few days. I know my husband's done a lot of days without natural food. That's totally doable. You cannot live one day without a good dose, some good portions of the word of God. You will shrivel up and die on the inside. And so make up your mind, you're going to be a man and a woman of the word of God. Come on. Right now, it's so easy. You pop up pop on a Bible and just it plays for you. Come on. You can drive and listen to the word of God. None of us need to go without hearing a whole book of the Bible every day. None of us. It only takes about four minutes a chapter. Come on. Many, many days I just listen to whole books and it washes, it washes us. And it washes us of worldliness and vain imaginations and it helps us to stay in spirit amen so give your first give your first that's first then obey his instructions what he tells you prompts you to do right away say right away 
Amen. And then every day, use your gifts and talents. Every single day, that's how we walk in the spirit. That's how we give. That's the value you have in this world. None of the other stuff. You have no other value except what the Holy Spirit wants to do through you. And then let your food be the word of God. Amen. Lord Jesus, we say that you are our vine. If you can say that, then say that to him. You are my vine and I am your branch. I can do nothing without you. And I separate myself to a life of the spirit from this moment on. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your might. We thank you for your power inside of us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Good stuff. Yay. Our campus pastors, Nick and Kelsey Tyson. Don't you love and appreciate them? They're shiny too.